This no need Dutch oven bread has a fine crispy crust and soft and moist light and airy crumb inside. The nutty bits of walnuts and those tangy cranberries makes this bread even more delicious. And we use only 5 basic ingredients and some walnuts and cranberries to make this bread. And this bread recipe will help you make bakery style rustic artisan bread in a simple and easy method. And you will love the texture of this bread and it goes pretty well with any of your favorite soups or salads or even with some plain butter. So let's see how to make this wonderful bread in four simple steps. So let's start by preparing our bread dough. Into a bowl add in some lukewarm water, water which is not cold nor hot but just slightly warm. Then add in 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of honey and 1 teaspoon of yeast and mix until all our ingredients get dissolved in water. And now add in the flour. We can use either bread flour or all-purpose flour. Here I have used all-purpose flour. And I am using the bare end of this wooden spoon to mix them together. So combine them together to form a shaggy mass of dough. And just make sure there are no dry patches left behind. And now let's add some chopped walnuts and cranberries and try to incorporate it into the dough. And one thing we need to remember is that if we add the walnuts directly into the flour, there are chances that some dry flour can get entrapped in the grooves of walnuts. And so it's better to add the nuts after we form the dough. Our bread dough is now ready. Now we need to proof the dough for 2 hours before we do the final shaping. And during this proofing time, we are going to do a magic that will convert this bread dough to a well structured dough using a simple and easy folding method. So let's cover the dough and let the dough proof for 1 hour. And after one hour of proofing, let's do the first folding. And now you can see our bread dough is very sticky to handle. And here we have a simple trick. When our hands are wet, it will not stick to our hands. And this will make it easy for us to handle the dough. So don't forget to dip your hands in water before folding the dough. So stretch the dough and fold it onto itself and then turn the bowl 90 degree and repeat the same on all the four sides. And now let's cover it with a plastic film and keep it in a warm environment or on the countertop. And let's do the next folding in another half an hour. So it's been another half an hour and our dough has puffed up and the gluten strands are more developed. And now we are going to stretch and fold it once again. So we did our second round of folding. So let's wrap it again and let them sit and rise for another 30 minutes. And now 
let's do the third or the final folding. So now our bread dough is ready and unlike any other bread recipes we don't need to shave this dough and all that we need to do is to transfer our bread dough into another bowl lined with a parchment paper. So you can see it's so easy just dip your hands in water and then hold your palm on the top side of the dough and then gently flip the ball in such a way that we have the smooth bottom side on top and now place it onto a parchment lined ball And I just sprinkle the top with some chopped walnuts. And now let's cover the dough and let it do the final proofing for 30 minutes. And at this point we need to start preheating the oven and we need to preheat our Dutch oven too. So place your cast iron pot inside the oven when you start preheating the oven. And after 30 minutes our dough has risen well and now let's transfer this dough onto the hot cast iron pot. We need to be very careful as the pot is really hot. And make a slash on top with the help of a sharp knife or using a sharp blade. And now cover the pot with a lid and place it into the oven. And bake at 450 Fahrenheit preheated oven for 25 minutes. And after 25 minutes our bread has almost baked well and now to make the crust more crispy and to get more flavor from that properly caramelized crust we need to bake them for a few more minutes at a lower temperature so reduce the temperature to 350 Fahrenheit and bake for another 10 minutes without the lid and after baking we'll get a beautiful loaf of bread which is so flavorful and so tasty and you can see our bread has a very fine crackly crust and the inside is so soft light and airy spongy and studded with walnuts and cranberries and as we have not used any extra flour while shaping the crust is not hard but at the same time have a beautiful nutty caramelized flavor. I love homemade breads and this is one of my favorite breads. It's so good and I love that fine soft and moist texture of this bread. And I hope you will make this bread at home and I hope your whole family will love it. And when you make this bread, if you get a chance Please take a picture and please send to me if you are in Pinterest or Instagram or Facebook. I'll put the link to my account in the description box below. 
आई होप यू लाइक दिस रेसिपी एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज गिव योर वैल्यूबल थम्स अप एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू शेयर दिस रेसिपी विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली हु लव मेकिंग होम मेड ब्रेड एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सी नेक्स्ट टाइम